Hi everyone, it's Judy. Okay, so today um, I was just going to use some drawing ink and practice those little people that I was talking about. Now, the ones that I've been actually utilising um, in my very small book, I've been making with um, quite a, a small brush. And um, I wanted to, like, this also, by the way, is just the water off the ink. It's not even actually real ink. So this is just a practice, okay, a play. It's like a five, ten-minute play. Um, if you want to put, uh, this is a very, this is a bigger brush. This is not my normal brush. Uh, and I also have a much, much bigger brush. This is actually a beautiful new brush. It's a size 16 Renewer um, brush, which I'm going to use. I really love the fact that it's got a, a little pointed, pointy bit. I'm not really up with brushes. I, I either choose a brush for what it does. If I like what it does, then I use it. And if I don't, then I don't use it. I'm going to do, I was going to use drawing ink and then I found this water and I just thought I'm going to go big and I'm going to oh also I'm doing it's raining outside I'm also so I'm going to do a dot and then I'm going to go down I'm using um, a roll of wax paper. It's not even um, it's not even good paper. It's just because what I want to what I want you to do is free up. I want you just to um, be completely free with the process. Uh, and of course, we connect the bottoms with a shadow, depending on, of course, where that sun is. You know, up there in the corner, that's where the sun is. So therefore, the shadow will be going that way. Now, it because I'm just using watery, very watery uh, ink, it actually gives some interesting contrast between the light and the dark. Yeah, so when that dries, you'll see. I'll take a take a photo of it and gives it gives it a little bit more depth. But I, this is physically a roll. I'm holding it over here and I'm just going to pull this over and just make some fun, fun figures. Maybe some with two legs, maybe with an arm. Play. Don't get too hung up on how they look. You can go back. That one looks like it's got an, I don't know what in its hand. Go back. You can go back and actually modify it. But let's just get the first layer down. Big head. Squeeze it, push it down. Looks like he's got his bum sticking out on that one, doesn't it? It's a bit weird. So I'm probably going to do like big head. I'm just going to do a, quite a lot of these. And I just want you to see what you can do with them after. Like um, can you still see um, if they're a silhouette? Can you still see a person in them or are they squeezing it down? Maybe there's two. Maybe there's not. Now we're going to work in maybe, let's see, maybe one more. I mean, it's just a row, like a big carrot. Maybe there's a dog. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. So like there's this one. This one here is a little bit weird. We might have to alter that. 
don't quite know maybe it's carrying maybe you're carrying a, they're carrying a bag or something and that's why it's So the head always has to be... Now, did I show you why the head has to be separate? I don't know that I did. So if you put the head on, it kind of looks like um, they're moving away from you. It looks... It doesn't look as as good. I don't know why that is. It's a, But um, I like it this way in the pictures. So it looks like they're coming towards you or away from you. But when they're in a silhouette, obviously, it's um, a little bit different. Okay. I will take a little video of that little little, little um, roll. And we'll come back and um, we might add a bit of colour into them at some point. Uh, maybe today, maybe not. Um, this is a really short video. I just want you to have a bit of a play with the people if you're into the people, into the ink work. Um, this is just an easy way of doing it. If you have drawing ink around, uh, you can just utilise the drawing ink that you already have kicking about. All right. Um, I'll see you next week with another little tip and, um, I've got a bit going on at the moment and I look forward to seeing you and I will show you the, the works that I've started. Okay, bye. So here they are. It's a very strange looking little people running with coats on, with dresses on. A couple of not quite right ones. But overall, a pretty good play.